at it is the same as MDI on a modern CNC. That's how I'm going to input data into this machine to write my program. Put it on the video, by the way. What I'm going to program is a box. All I'm going to do is cut a, want to cut a square box using the wire EDM. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 13 and store. This brings up my data edit format. It's not necessary, but this machine likes to see a job number, basically, at the beginning. In this case, it's going to be input. You have to type in I every time you're going to put something in. N. We're going to make it 1, 2, 3, enter. Right there, it tells me that's my, the program number is N123. Now, from here, we're going to go down on the steps. This is the program straight out of the manual. So again, we're input, block N1, which is the first step we're going to take on it. What the manual doesn't say on this program is that you need to know whether it's intermetric. You have to tell the machine that because it will operate in both. The G code metric, and that's the one that we're going to run, is G21. And then store, we hit the store button, brings up our first thing. Now we've told it that it's going to be a metric measurement on this. Then we're going to bring in the next step, input G, oh, sorry. I want to keep my numbers in there, so it's going to be N2. G91, E.1, and D1. And I'll go over what the... Okay, so I've typed in an entire program. It's 13 steps on this. So the first thing I really want to do is I want to verify my program's all the way in. If you type in 1, enter takes me right to the top of the program. You see, we have my program number and we have all the steps. I can go down the line of steps by just hitting enter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where the cursor is at, I can change if I have to. So if I want to input something now, because I've missed a step, I can hit I and it will put it in the line underneath. If I want to replace something, say like the X10 is wrong, and I wanted X minus 10, I would hit replace, X 10, space, X minus 10. You have to put the space in there so that it will know to replace that item. At the end is MO2, that stops the program. When the program stops, you're gonna get an alarm, so you'll see that and hear it in just a second. So I've typed in everything, hit my slash bar, it's eight, enter, and then it's go, eight, enter is telling me for NC set. That's going to actually send that program I wrote to the memory on the computer, on the machine. So I want RAM, PTR, or CMT. RAM tells me where you're going to send it to. That's going to be either the memory on board here. So we want to go to RAM, zero, and to start display point. One. You see that we get NCOK. That means the program is actually in the machine at this point, ready to run. So all you have to do is come over and hit the go button. You would think that would be the case, but it's not. So if I hit the go button now, nothing happens. Another quirk on this machine that I have to hit the hand button, then the go button, then let go of it. We have it in dry run, and it's gonna run it in dry run.
can hear the alarm button and you think that you, you have some kind of mess up, but in all actuality, you can see that we have an MO2 up there, which means that it stopped. In about 15 seconds, the alarm will go off. Alarm off. What this has done, it's run the entire program on the machine that we set up. So here are the key factors that we need to discuss. We haven't done any touch-offs, nor have we actually set in our reference points. All we've done is set up to run a single program on this machine, and that was to cut a box, which this did. It went through every step on the cutting of a box. We now have it where I can move the head, I can move the table, I can download a program, I can run the program.